engineering, KISS soft tech support. Uh, I had a question today about how we control um, reference gears in terms of input power on a planetary. Sometimes you want the sun gear to be an input and the ring gear to be stationary with uh, carrier gears as the output or vice versa, or you want to enter in the ring gear as the input and have the sun gear the output. It's not too hard. It's actually fairly easy. However, it's not maybe intuitive in how you would do that. So it's easy enough to open up an example. I just grabbed this example uh, once per planetary. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the strength tab. And here you can see the driving gear is the sun gear. Okay. And we also define that as the reference gear. So we see our input speed, our input power, okay? If I wanted this to be the carrier as the input, you can see I can select it here. We know that, uh, generally speaking, the ring gear is probably going to be held, but how do we know for sure? So if I define this sun gear as the driving gear, and I go to the reference speed right here, and there's this plus button to the right, when I click this, you can see I've defined the speed of the internal gear as zero. So what we have in this particular configuration is we have a sun gear input. The internal gear is held stationary, which uh, assumes the planet carrier is the output at 266. If I wanted the planet carrier to be the input and hold the sun gear stationary, what I would do is I would change this reference gear to planet carrier. I would change over here to planet carrier. So now my driving gear is a planet carrier. When I go to the reference speed, I need to define the sun gear as being held stationary. And now my internal gear is the output. And when I run this, it'll update. I'll get some stuff here because I didn't really design it for that. But now I see I have my planet carrier is 266. My sun gear is zero and my internal gear is 342. So my driving gear now is the internal gear and my output gear is the planet carrier. Okay, and it changed over here to internal gear. If I wanted this to be my planet carrier, I can change this and I run this. Okay, and if I go look at my sun gear, it's still zero and my internal gear now is 342. This is my output and my driving gear is a planet carrier. So if I wanted the internal gear as my input I would select the internal gear but I still have to define which of the other two that I'm going to hold stationary either the sun or the planet so if I say I'm going to hold the planet carrier stationary I select this and um, define that as zero rpm and now when I run this my sun gear will be the output and you can see here's my speed for the sun gear. It's 1200 RPM opposite of the ring gear, which we expect. So this is a quick way to uh, just define your, your, your uh, driving gears on the planetary module within KISSoft. Um, the not uh, very intuitive part is you need to define the reference speed right here. You get this window that pops up. And you can play with this and you can define your driving gear in your reference gear so hopefully this is uh this is a quick little tech tip and uh, it helps you with your designing good luck with your designing and we'll talk to you later thanks